chili on his. Let me know how it is. Really good. We are going to see a band we've never heard of. The Growlers.
concert and ordered lots of carbs from room service. Bunch of room service. <laughs> so, yep, that was the highlight of our life. That's great. And Peyton just took a bath this morning. Bathed it up. He needs to heal his body from the strenuous activities he was doing yesterday. So strenuous. <laughs> and we're gonna get ready and do it all again. Let's go. <laughs> we ventured out into the world, got some core water to stay hydrated covered from the alcohol we had last night. I'm getting ready, I got these little space buns on my head. And this guy is out here in his cargo pants, his combat boots, and he's just steaming some clothes for me. Thanks for steaming, babe. En route to day two. bye to the vlog again last night but we had so much fun on the second day we ran into our friends Gil and Steph Steph is also a blogger you guys should follow her she's super cute I will put her handle here we had fun with them we went and saw future hung out and then got out of there ordered room service again and just fell asleep like babies and now it is Sunday. We're actually not going to the festival today because we're exhausted and we kind of only do two days when we go to festival. So. Nope. <laughs> Am I wearing a V neck? Am I? 
Stop, we have to go. Stop, Did you're just fine. Have it's it? fine. <laughs> back from outside lands. Back We're to back. reality. <laughs> and um, we weren't super good about filming while we were there and stuff. We didn't really no. like show you guys the hotel or our flights or like any B-roll. So sorry about that. We're usually way better about that. But I asked you guys on Instagram if you still wanted to see the vlog, and you most of you said yes. So we decided to put it up still. Do it. And we thought we'd just tell you like what we thought of Outside Lands and all that good stuff. So what do you think? Yeah, um, I liked Outside Lands a lot. I give it about. Not even gonna rate it. That's rude. But uh, it was very fun. What was your favorite part? My most favorite part were the cocktails. Oh That's yeah. They had really, really good, good, like, what do you call those? Craft cocktails? Craft cocktails, yeah. It was like tequila, mm -hmm. uh, serrano pepper, mm -hmm. liqueur, mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like a fancy <laughs> cocktail, not just like a basic we one. loved it. And it was really pretty too. So the weather was like pretty nice. It was cold Where for was, us. What was your favorite? My favorite part was the vibe. The vibe was really good there. It's like chill. <laughs> what? Oh, the lighting. Um, yeah, so the vibe is super chill there. It's like not as hectic as Coachella and it's just like really easy going. You can just like plop down on the grass anywhere. Plop. Plop. Plop it. Plop. It's really uh, easy to plop. It was fun. I liked it. And there was like good, just like chill sort of indie music that we didn't mm -hmm. really know of. And I kind of liked just sitting around listening to like people I didn't even know, which probably they're really famous, but you just out of the loop. The weather is a lot better than Coachella, I would say. Yeah, it's nowhere near as hot. It was actually kind of cold. <laughs> yeah, which is, I think cold is easier to like remedy than the heat. Easy. Spend a lot. Bring jackets. We didn't. We actually didn't have that many, but. But we didn't bring many because we're so used to the warm weather down yeah. here. Yeah, but it was still fine. Um, what'd you think of the food? The food was good, but I would say Coachella's was better. Yeah. We had a vegan hot dog. That was okay. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. And honestly, that was. Oh, we had vegan ramen. It wasn't that good. You're in the city for Outside Lands. It's really easy to just like eat other stuff too. Like obviously Coachella's in the middle of nowhere. So it's more important that they have better food. Anyways, Who the music. Who was your favorite artist? Future. Future. Yeah. Just cut and, cut and dry? Yeah. Huh? What about you? Huh? My favorite artist was uh, ooh, love. Yeah, love. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good too. My favorite was love. But it was like a little unorganized, like getting in, because we had to go to oh, will call. Yeah. That was like, could have been better organized. Uh, we didn't experience anything like that at Coachella. But again, it's just like a smaller festival, so they're not as like seasoned or. Yeah, there's a lot of different logistics. I mean, out at Coachella, they have tons of room to work with as far as logistics. Yeah. Right. So when you're in a city surrounded by a neighborhood, they had to kind of tighten things up and there wasn't as much room to maybe spread out box offices and Yeah, so that's maybe whatnot. like one downside, but it was, you know, you just gotta be like a little bit patient, get your ticket, and then from there, it's just smooth sailing. You have to wear a clear backpack. Clear backpack, yeah. Probably gonna be a rule at Coachella next year, so. Yeah, maybe. Get them so now. it's not cute, you can't bring a cute purse. You just have to rock a clear backpack. So if you're a festival goer or planning on being one, you should invest in a clear backpack. And definitely bring a blanket. Amazon. We forgot ours at home. Yeah, blankets. Any other tips? Wear comfortable shoes. Always. Like we saw girls wearing wedges. Don't do that. Don't do that, no. And a lot of fun the whole time. Yeah, we did. We would definitely and go back. I think I would go there before I go to Coachella again. Yeah, but we're gonna do both. But we'll go to both. Yeah. But, but they're different. They both have different strengths and weaknesses, so. For sure. 
it was fun and sorry that we weren't the best vloggers this weekend but hopefully you still enjoyed this video and we'll bring you on our next adventure. Yeah.